to clean coder youtube channel if you are new to this channel i will highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel as i make content related to software engineering system designing and data structures and algorithms hello everyone so today we are going to answer uh, this very very commonly asked interview question why strings are immutable in java like if you will give uh, i'll say 10 interviews right you'll give 10 interviews uh, i am sure like at least six of them would ask you this question if you are a java engineer or like java developer so in this session we are going to answer this question so before going into strings let's understand the meaning of the word immutable like what does this immutable means so this is the dictionary meaning of immutable okay so immutable means unchanging over time or something that doesn't changes with time so uh, it means unchangeable fixed set rigid inflexible and so on so immutable means something which doesn't changes with time so strings in java are immutable now uh, why the designers kept the strings as immutable that thing we are going to answer in the next slide so for that uh, i have referred uh, stack overflow because like uh, this has a really good answer why strings are immutable in java so we are go directly going to read the stack overflow uh, most upvoted answer so it says string is immutable for several reasons okay then he has provided a brief summary why strings are immutable so the first reason is security so parameters are typically represented as string in a network connections database connection urls username password etc okay so if it were mutable these parameters could be easily changed so for security sake they are uh, keeping the strings as immutable so this this was the first factor uh, why strings are immutable so uh, let's move to the second factor now so the second factor is uh, synchronization so synchronization and concurrency uh, making strings immutable automatically makes them thread safe so if we say that uh, the strings are immutable then uh, by definition uh, we are saying that they are thread safe and thereby this all the uh, all the challenges related to synchronization so the second uh, reason for keeping the strings as immutable was synchronization okay so let's move to the third reason now so the third reason is caching so when compiler optimizes uh, our string object it sees that if two objects have the same value okay so this a reference to this test string and b reference to this test string and thus you need only one uh, string object for both a and b so in memory there would only be uh, one test and both of this would be pointing to uh, same uh, this test string in the memory so both a and b these two will point to the same object so some sort of caching is used uh, to cache the strings so that uh, some kind of compiler optimization is provided so this is the reason why uh, strings are kept immutable in fact this is the third reason so fourth reason which they have provided is class loading so string is used as arguments for class loading okay if uh, mutable it could result in wrong class being loaded right so because mutable mutable objects can change their state so class loading is also uh, like handled by string like we provide uh, the name of the class which you want to load so they are the parameter string so yeah that that uh, kinds of answers like why uh, strings are immutable in java so these are the main four reasons which you can give uh, in interview when someone asks you why 
strings are immutable in java so let's read the bottom part also so that being said immutability of string only means you cannot change it using its public api you can in fact bypass the normal api using uh, reflection okay so there are reflection apis uh, in java so if you are interested uh, you can refer it here but like uh, in the scope of uh, this tutorial uh, i think this much theory is sufficient so for the complete answer uh, you can refer this link from the stack overflow so that's all i have for in this video thanks a lot for watching